We don't need you anymore. You're fired. Those passed away, ladies and gentlemen, and those who have been fired. My boss told me these words one bright morning last year. I was shocked. Have you ever been shocked so badly that words have failed you? Even after five years of table topics, I was speechless. <laughs> With my confidence and pride shattered, I just picked up my bag, grabbed some beer, sat in a secluded park and began drinking. Vijay Malia's nectar slipped through my throat. As this question rang in my head, where am I heading in life? I didn't have an answer. I just lay on the grass and took a trip down memory lane. It was a bright morning in the year 2000 as I sprang out of bed in high spirits. There was this girl in college whom I was deeply in love with for a very long time. She was this ravishing beauty with long hair, short skirts, the hips of Shakira and the lips of Madhuri Dixit. And that morning, I decided to tell her that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. I applied a lot of hair gel and spiked my hair. My hair gleamed in the morning sun as I looked like a porcupine. <laughs> I just walked up to her, looked her in the eye and stammered, I love you. She was shocked. After a long pause she said, get lost. I asked why. She said, my choice. <laughs> My heart broke into a million pieces as I felt my spiked hair fall down. <laughs> Boy, I was depressed. The next few days, I just locked myself in the room and cried for many hours wishing for the world to end. My best friend Sunny visited me often to cheer me up without success. And then one day, Sunny told me something very stupid. He looked at me and told me, Ganesh, Whatever happens, happens for the good. You idiot! You have a pretty girlfriend and a high paying job and you are advising me? Shut up! I yelled back at him and we ended the conversation. Now Sunny was a guitarist and one day he gave me the guitar to cheer me up. I strummed a chord to feel inexplicable joy. The next few days I just locked myself in the room and practiced for many hours discovering new galaxies. We formed a band to perform at coffee shops to open our concerts and I had the time of my life. Twelve years later, I am still deeply in love with music. That is when I realized, maybe Sunny was right when he said, whatever happens, happens for the good. As I lay on the grass, I thought to myself, Getting fired was not the end of the world. Maybe there is something beautiful in store for me. And since I had no job, I had a lot of time to think of what I really wanted to do in life. My heart's desire was to help regular people reach the stars, like help a tortured employee start a company of his own. And I could do that by being a corporate trainer. But the voice is behind me told me, Ganesh, you will fail. People will boo you. But I just shut those voices and set a plan. I applied to more than 500 companies and started getting interview calls. But the first few interview rounds turned out to be very bad as people told me, Ganesh, we don't need you. You have no experience. Every night, I used to speak to Sunny on the phone. And he used to tell me, Ganesh, be patient. Whatever happens, happens to the good. To improve myself, I started taking free sessions for college students, and this built my confidence. And then one day, out of the blue, I got a call from a training organization called Siksha, and I had to deliver a talk on time management. I reached the venue and started speaking. 
stumbled initially, but then the words flew out of my tongue. And at the end of the presentation, I could see people nodding in appreciation. And the director of the company stood up and told me, Ganesh, you are wonderful. You are hired. Three months later, I delivered a training program for new hires. And at the end of the program, I got a standing ovation. I was moved to tears. Sunny was right. Whatever happens, happens to the world. Have you ever been rejected in your life? I know that the world comes crashing around you. It is frustrating, it is heartbreaking and it is painful. When I was rejected, I did in my wildest dreams think that my life would be filled with a beautiful symphony called music or that I would do something magical like work in the field of training. Sylvester Stallone beautifully puts it when he says, a rejection is nothing but a necessary step in the pursuit of your success. So when you are rejected, work hard, be patient because whatever happens, happens to you. So next time Toastmasters, when your business idea gets rejected or you get rejected by someone who is close to you, remember Sunny's words, whatever happens, happens for the good. <laughs>